Have you ever been surprised by a knife? Like you were interested in it before, and then you get it in hand and you realize that it's way better than what you had expected. How's it going, everybody? I'm Roll Shambo, the connoisseur and collector of all things sharp and shiny. And if you would walk on down to the comment section, let me know what knife has surprised you lately, either one that you've bought or one that you saw online. Let me know. Uh, while you're down there, if you could go ahead and dap up that like button, let YouTube know that you like this kind of content. Today, we're talking about a knife that surprised me. This is the Concept Convict, and it came my way via the Apex Passaround Group. Shout out to Concept Knives for sending the Apex Passaround Group this knife so that people like me could talk to you about it on camera. I think it's pretty cool. And another thing about Concept is that they're another Asian manufacturer amidst a sea of other Asian manufacturers competing for your dollars. And ultimately, when this happens, we win. And I love that. But the question remains, with so much competition out there, is the Concept Convict a winner? Or is it going to get locked up? All right, guys. Now you might be wondering why I have this in the pouch and it's because I wanted to highlight the fact that Concept has probably what is one of my favorite pouch designs out there. It's not one of the regular zipper designs. Uh, this is actually a true pouch and it fits pretty good in the pocket. So I just wanted to showcase that because I absolutely love Concept's pouches. I think that they're classy. I think that they fit well in your pocket and they're just great. Uh, enough with that. That's about as much unboxing as we're going to get into on this one. This is a, a this is an overview. This is my first impressions. You know, how do I feel about the knife? And, you know, we'll we'll get into a knife ranking in another video. But for now, I just want to talk about this design. Um, and if you skipped the intro, this did come by way of the Apex Pass Around group. So, no, this is not mine. Uh, no, I do not get to keep this. I'm just borrowing this for the sake of review. So, let's uh, start off. Concept Convict. Uh, we're looking at a, I'm going to call this a Warncliffe blade. A sheep's worn foot, whatever. It's a straight edge. Obviously built for utility type purposes. Thick behind the spine, flat grind, really thin behind the edge. Uh, these handle scales are peel ply carbon fiber. So no, they're not full carbon fiber, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of peel ply. And this one is, is non-textured. It's, it's polished at the top. So it's actually very flat. And there's not a whole lot of grip there, but that's okay because... The ergonomics on this knife are actually rather easy to hold on to. Just the overall shape of the handle scales is really good for being able to hold on to it. Now, if you didn't know, this is a sheepdog design. Sheepdog knives. I'll be honest, I don't know anything about sheepdog knives. If you do, let me know in the comment section down below. What other sheepdog knives should I check out? Uh, and we're going to start talking about the materials because why not? As I already mentioned, peel ply carbon fiber, that means that there is a thin layer of carbon fiber adhered to a thicker layer of G10. It does have steel liners. It is in fact a liner lock. And as you can see, those liners are in fact milled out for weight reduction. And we'll get to the weight in a minute. The blade is 154 CM and it's stamped there on the blade itself. It's, it's not too bad as far as billboarding goes. I'm not mad at it, okay? Like, it's there, it's hidden away. Uh, so in case you forget, there it is. Your knife is made out of 154 CM. It does, in fact, have the concept logo right there. And honestly, I do kind of feel like that's an awkward place to put it. I would have preferred if they had just not done it at all or placed it, like, on a pivot. The pivots are not single-sided. They are double-sided. But that's not a huge deal. I just tend to prefer single-sided captive pivots. Uh, there is no jimping, and people 
Like, it, look, when it comes to jimping, people are one of two minds. Either the first is, I don't care about jimping. Jimping has never done anything for me in my life. It doesn't pay my bills. I don't care if it's on my knife. The second crowd is like me, and I like having some jimping because it gives extra grip when I do a saber grip, and uh, it, it provides traction on the spine of the blade because I like to hold a knife like this for extra control. And speaking of control, this blade shape is perfect for utility. This is gonna be excellent for your pull cuts, your draw cuts. Um, this is a knife that's really built to work and built to be used, and I love that. Interesting fact about this knife, Concept produced this in every single price range. Uh, you can get this specific one at $95, but if you're okay with just regular G10, and honestly I would be, uh, you can get it as low as 80 bucks. They also make a more premium version at 200 bucks that comes with titanium and a regular thumb stud. And then if you want to go super bougie, you can get one with the flat thumb stud. It's not a disc, it just sticks out. Um, and it's a single-sided thumb stud, and you can get it with Damascus. These go all the way up to almost 300 bucks. Uh, and honestly, I think that this less expensive version might actually be the one that I would prefer because with this blade shape, this is going to be one that is going to be something that you can carry, something that you can use. I'm actually fairly impressed. Now you might be wondering, well, what about the hardware? Well, let's check the hardware real quick. We've got E8 on the pivot, of course. And we also have, nope, that is T6 on the body screws. That's a shame. I really would have preferred T8. It's not a huge deal. It's just a nitpick. Um, T6 on the body screws, T8 on the pivot, not bad. There is no backspacer, which I am kind of bummed about because on a flat angled edge like this you want to protect it you want to protect your ability to, to stay slicey and when you put a knife like this in your pocket you might also have keys you might have some change and with this open back design while it does make it more weight friendly it's going to weigh less um, there is a higher likelihood that crap in your pocket will ding up that edge so just something to keep in mind i'm not mad at all about the deployment option the funny thing is, is that I keep expecting there to be a flipper tab here, but there's not. And I'm actually really okay with that because the deployment hole works really good. And have you noticed the sound the knife makes when I open it? It's super snappy. This is an excellent detent. The detent is tuned perfectly. Now the pocket clip is, is of the stamped variety, but that's okay because I don't feel it in my hand when I go to grip it. Uh, I, I, like, I know that it's there, but I don't feel it. A pocket clip should do its job and not make itself known. It needs to be seen and not heard, kind of like kids in the 50s. Um, as far as the deployment goes, I, I actually really do like this. Uh, this knife is super fidget friendly, not because it has one bajillion options, it doesn't, it has one, uh, but because of how good that one option is. If you like to reverse flick knives, guys, this is the one. And this is also a knife that's under a hundred bucks. I did not expect this to be as enjoyable as it's been so far, and I've only had it in my possession now for like two days. Um, this is a good one. It's really, really good, and I think that whether you pay $80 for the one that's just regular G10 or $95 for this one with peel ply carbon fiber, I think you're going to enjoy it. Um, let's talk about the lock real quick. So again, this is a liner lock. And you'll notice right here that we're sitting right there at about 25% on the lockup. You can also notice that detent ball. The detent ball is, is tall, you know? So uh, if you wanna know where the action comes from, there it is. The lock bar itself is chamfered out, and so it's really easy to engage and disengage, and it is running on bearings, and that action is deceptively smooth. I don't know why more people aren't talking about this knife, because it's extremely enjoyable. It's very modest in its excellence. I, I don't even mind this, this pocket clip. I, I don't think that the pocket clip takes away from the look of the knife at all. But even if it did, if you look at those 
pocket clip screws right there. I'd be willing to bet you could get a Civivi or a Kaiser clip to fit on there if you absolutely have to have a milled clip. I wouldn't bother though. I'm a-okay with this. It does fit in and out of the pocket really nicely. And while we're looking at this area, check out the edges. Those edges are really nicely rounded off. Now, in a live stream yesterday, I was talking about peel ply carbon fiber and someone asked, you know, do these delaminate? Now, I don't have a ton of experience with peel ply carbon fiber, but I can tell you that I've never experienced one delaminate and I have carried them. Um, I don't think that it would be an issue. Everything is nicely adhered and polished out. And I'm not even mad about the fact that you don't get any texture on these handle scales at all because it actually adds to the ergonomic nature of this knife. At 80 bucks, I, I really do feel like this is a good buy. And I already feel like this is something that I could, in fact, suggest. Uh, for example, I haven't checked this yet, so let's do that. Look at that. Bang on center. <laughs> it's, it's dead center. That's nice. The qualities that you get these days in the under, in the sub $100 price range are, are quite honestly just really good. And I'm really enjoying that. Uh, this is a knife that is 100% putting a smile on my face, and I'll be sad to see go when I go to move it on to the next person. I'll repeat, I don't know why more people aren't looking at this knife, and I, I think, actually I take that back, I know why they're not. It's because of this blade shape. This is an unassuming blade shape that's not super flashy, but this knife is really good in a very subtle way, and if you're looking for a knife under 100 bucks, this is definitely one that I could suggest. I will link it down below in my description, and I might also link it in a pinned comment. We'll see. I believe these are available as of right now. Um, and yeah, if you're looking for a really solid knife with a excellent detent, a really well-tuned action, guys, here you go. Ergonomics are good. Fidget Factor is good. And if you want to know just exactly how good all of these things are, make sure you check out the Grail or Garbage ranking video that I'll be doing on this in the next week or so. That's all I've got for you today. Let me know. Have you seen this knife before? Is it on your radar now? Have you already picked one up or are you planning on picking one up? I'm curious. Let me know in the comments section down below. And guys, if you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, boohoo, you know what to do. And if you want to be notified when I come out with my ranking video for this guy, and trust me when I say it's got some tough competition, make sure you hit subscribe and smack that notification bell. I'm Roll Shambo. I'll catch you on the flip side.